Hey everybody, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today it's going to be really short. Uh, we're going to go over something super simple, but you know, it was really nice for those who are interested in doing comics. Or just short little, you know, drawings with speech bubbles. Uh, so if we're going to go to the Dockers and go down to Vector Libraries. And it's not going to pop up this big for you. This is just, well, maybe it will. I don't really remember because I've been playing with the size of my Docker. So by default, it's going to show you the Krita Brush preset icon library. And this is just icons for a variety of brushes that you um, have, avail have available to you. So if you make like a custom brush and you want a specific icon for it, you can use this as your starting point. So you can turn it around. It's Right now it's grouped, you can ungroup it, you can move it around, change the gradient on it, just like you would any other vector that you've created in Krita. And some of them are much bigger than others. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, like this one here is pretty big, oops. So just be aware of that. Like it's not like anything wrong with you, it's just the way they were made. So this is a base with a high yellow band, so I guess it looks like, um, I guess it could be used as a pen or a pencil, and this can just be like the icon that you use for it maybe. I don't know, whatever you want. So I'm just going to click on them and then hit the, the delete key and get rid of that. And then if we click on here, we can see two more libraries, and uh, one is pepper and carrot speech balloons, or speech bubbles, and the other one is word balloons. Now the pepper and carrot... I'm going to drag those in, and this is uh, very generously given by the creator Pepper and Carrot. I believe his name is David Ravoy. Now the only thing about this, if you are going to be using them, they are pure white, so if you have a white background, you're going to have to do a little bit of editing to get this to work. So you're going to have to ungroup it, and I'll move this over here, go to tool options, your lines, and you might want to add a line, we'll say black. And move it a little bit thicker. So you can do that. And then we'll do that here. But you have to keep in mind that it's got this little, it's not like a one big piece. So you will have to work with them a little bit if you don't want to use a colored background. But they're a good starting point to play with and everything too. And then under word balloons, you just have the standard uh, ones here. And these do have a black outline and a little bit of a shadow and everything, which is kind of nice. So if you just want to like do something really simple and kind of get some practice in of just laying something out for maybe a short comic, I think these would be good to start with just to get like your, your feet wet. And that's pretty much, oh, and then, sorry, you can also change the icon size because they are a little small. So you can go ahead and make those bigger. And then you can just take this and ta-da! Just like that. And that's it for the vector libraries. At the moment you can't make your own within Krita, um, but I did find a source to make one in Inkscape and there's some crazy stuff you can do to make your own custom library and I'll link that in the description. And hopefully um, that will help some people out, but for now I think this is a pretty, pretty good start for Krita. And hopefully they will, you know, continue on with these libraries and allow us to make our own in the future or, you know, just drag and drop to save some vectors. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the vector libraries. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe this video. It really, really helps. I do appreciate it. And if you want to support me in other ways, you can follow me on my social media. And you can also donate to my coffee. And all that stuff is in the description of this video. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video.